he's been in it for like what 20 years longer than that these are all some, not some, all, all, some of the shows ours, i've done over the years some ours, of my shows i've done ours ours used to be involved with the guys cost like a dog right calls me a jukebox and we put on shows like literally uh, DJ light shows. I made these. Vi we made uh, psychedelic videos. The video projections and shit. That's uh, cool. Yeah. yeah. That's so, how, how how far back does this go? No, oh, that's back in 2005, 2006. That's when you started. Shows. Yeah, like there's one from '09. Um, that was the origins of the band. Well, yeah, I was called Tapped Out back then. Yeah. There's one from those six, every other little festival we did out in the middle of this cornfield somewhere. That's kind of like what our original goal when I started doing this was like my buddy and I, you know, we got in the of a field somewhere and just set up and throw like a little mini festival type of a thing. So we played a lot of the bars in town. We, you know, we miniaturized it and tried to do, do it that way. What, what's been the pinnacle so far? Has there been one? As far as, you know, gigs. Well, yeah, I got to do um, Legend Valley. I got to do a Legend Valley Hookerville. We set up at the second stage, and we, you know, we ran the second stage with all the lights and the projections for all the second stage acts that night. That was pretty cool. That was back, um, I don't know, mid-2000s or somewhere. Somewhere in, like, 2006, 2005. I, I had to look at my tickets. Yeah. But how, how many pe pinnacle. people were in the band then? That was just me and the singer. I had a singer girl oh, back okay. then as well. And then my, my buddy's family was kind of the other half of it. The psychedelic relic dude. It was like him and his kids. And that was it. Me, it was me and the, the band and then him. He was like it. It was like three of us was like the core unit of it. So. And uh, you outlasted them all, huh? Well, I guess so, yeah. But it was cool. We used to make these videos and did video projections, and like we we do the Pink Floyd and Wizard of Oz and shit. Like we'd go around town, and set up in the bar, and show that. I was always a hit. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen it before? It kind of goes together and shit. It's pretty cool. I heard that. So I haven't seen it. They used to do like all kind of weird mm -hmm. lighting and I don't yeah, know like how you to said about it. Being, uh, we we Some put the show colors on. Colors and like psychedelic stuff. Yeah. You know. So. Now, how'd you get get on board? You would not believe it. <laughs> I put a little tiny piece of paper, I wrote, singer looking for a guitar player, and I hung it up in Martin's Music in Newark. And never thought anything of it again, and ended up having a phone call, and he left a message on my phone. I didn't even answer it for like, what, two months? I just kind of blew it off, like, I don't know this guy. Oh, my God, somebody called. Oh, my God. <laughs> Some rock and roller. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, he sounded older on the phone, so I was like, oh, my God, I don't know who this old guy is. I'm not calling him back. And, like, I don't know what happened. Somebody said something on Facebook, you know, go for it, you know, life's short, you know, do what you want to do, follow your dreams. So I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna call him and I wanna sing. So and he was the only one that ever really gave me a chance. So you you've been writing your own music together? How how's that work? Yeah. It's pretty We awesome. started out well, we started out Covers. we've been together about three years now. We yeah. used to play nothing but cover bands. In fact when one night when she finally called back I auditioned her over the phone. I said, "Send Bobby McGee." Phone. I'm singing so, over the phone. <laughs> I'm playing like guitar, and, and she's singing it over the phone, and that's kind of how. And I, then we had, we scheduled our first get together in practice. We started out playing cover tune. You yeah, know, that was like our, the first yeah. song. You know them. Because I never wrote. I didn't know I could. Well, how did that evolve? Then? I've just been pushing Brandon, her to it because like she didn't want me to. do she, We well, didn't she, stop the cover songs. Yeah. I want to do original. We're going to go out and play out and you know <laughs> play music for people and. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, I've been playing cover tunes for my whole entire life. Yeah. I'm sick and fucking tired of playing cover tunes. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. But I was like, well, I don't, I've never written a song. I don't know how to write it. I, you know, who wants to hear what I have to say? So you do lyrics and then comes up with the yeah, music? or that's how yeah. it happens. She usually shows up with a song here. And the song's just kind of... Written already on paper and like, she yeah. has it one way in her head. And 
Kids come to well, you in the dream? Well, that's funny. It, they come to me in the middle of the night. They come to me when I'm stressed out. They come to me when I'm just in the wee hours in the morning when you're waking, just waking up out of sleep. They'll come to me. And, um, yeah, I bring them to him. I do have a certain way. I, ha I hear it in my head because I'm more country. And then I bring it to him. And he has a little chuckle on me. And then he gets his heavy metal going on, his little spin. And we kind of mesh together. So it's kind of a, that, yeah, that fusion of country folk with heavy metal rock. So, Neat. And it always ends up, when it goes to the spin cycle, it always ends up coming out nice and fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> Way different than she ever imagined. Them Way in her head different than I ever me. imagined in my head, yeah. But I always like it. I do. He always surprises me. And sometimes I'll be like, God, this is a country song. This is going to be a country song. I'm going to I'm going to tell him, Brandon, this is going to be, we're not changing this. This is how I heard it. This is how I wrote it. And he'll go, ha, ha. <laughs> and then next thing you know, and then he does a spin and I'm like, Dang it, you're right. Do you have to do it much works. with the, the words? Works. Okay, yesterday's news. Every now and then. <clears throat> yesterday's yes. news was a country song. I started out as a country song. I gotta admit, it was a little bit mushy, a little bit hokey. And in minutes, he put his heavy spin on it. And it was more like southern rock. And it was hard hitting, and I loved it. So I can't argue when he throws that, you know, Brandon Daubemeyer. But you do anyway. Touch. Huh? You can't argue, but you do anyway. No, I actually have to write, realize <laughs> that it's better than I... It's way better. So, yeah. Last well, song just had, had the minor chord. Once you played it in the minor chord. And, and, and <laughs> that's what really made that song. Changes it changed, everything. It changed, it changed a, everything. We went from an A to an A minor. And, you know, yeah. an A, D, and an E progression to a A minor and D minor. Totally. That's what totally made that song. So. Well, I Many love you. it. I love it now, and I'm proud mm. to sing it now. So yeah, you have, know, we have our, a dozen of them. Our fir to the first song, though, I have to say, the first song that we ever wrote, we wrote it together at the kitchen table. I stopped in to to pick up a casserole dish. It was very spontaneous. And I've been playing golf and drinking all day, and had a pretty good glow on, and wrote this goofy strumming song. <laughs> right, it was pretty straightforward, like like a G, C, and D. It was a straightforward. And then we just reworked it. Now it's pretty heavy. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. We we rebirthed it, and we like it. It's called Blue Skies. About, yeah. about Kim Trails in the in the in the sky. So it's kind of political a little bit. Yeah, I think that's probably the only song I ever get songwriting credit for is because like seventy five percent of the lyrics of that song are mine. Yeah. That was the first song we ever wrote. Like we weren't even we were still being that's, a cover band. That's kind of accidentally. Yeah. That, kind of actually did that, but like, I think that's what kickstarted me and they like as soon as that happened the floodgates opened and then more words kept coming to me and more words kept coming to me, more songs and I was like, Oh my god, I wrote I wrote, an, I wrote another song. And it just that's how it started. That's how we started writing our own song. So Each song is like a baby. It is. There's a birthing process that happens. <laughs> there sure is. Right. And there's a maturing process that happens mm -hmm. as well. It starts mm -hmm. out in when in the infancy stage and as we work it out and we record all that when we're working and you can see it you see these each song kind of mature into the fullness of what it's going to be and then and then when it's it's ripened uh, we're ready to <laughs> i wouldn't necessarily call it recording we have this little we have a little, little recorder little, we just yeah, hit record hey, on a little thing you talk into it's type whatever of you got to capture the moment capture it. Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying Stuff happens in the moment, and you gotta capture it. So that's, that's how it. Keith Richards captured satisfaction. Really? He's a little recorder by his bed, woke up in the middle of the night, and laid that's, down that da 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 da, and went magic back to sleep. happens in the middle of the night. Stuff just falls from the universe down into you. If you're open up to it, it will come. So <laughs> nice. I like that. Yeah, we like it too. We hope it keeps coming. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. More to come. <laughs> <laughs> Any recorded your greatest hits yet? 